Hi Smart Mind, this is episode 3 of our Scratch RPG series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to code the NPCs, the text engine, and also how to code our enemies. So if you haven't checked episode 2 or episode 1 yet, make sure to check it out. Links on the description below. So let's get into it. First, I'll be showing you how to code our NPC. In the starter project, we got two default NPCs, the Villager 1 and Villager 2. And if you want to upload your own NPC, click on the upload spray. Click on actors, characters, and you'll get all the characters. So you could use any of these. So I'll be using this noble and click on separate animation and just select the idle one and set the size to 200 and what you need to do you need to use the selection tool copy paint a new sprite convert to bitmap paste and then if you have any unwanted parts you can remove using the eraser tool and then just click on convert to vector so this is our down costume so just rename it to the specific costume so I have done this on both of the villagers right so okay now let's just get rid of that guy and let's code the villager when green flag clicked we need to go to front layer and switch costume the down costume go to x negative 68 and y70 so let's just show this right here grab a forever but if else statement uh, end operator and another end operator so lesser than abs of grab the minus operator grab this backdrop of stage and change this to player if the x portion of player minus x portion duplicate and change this to y portion of player and y portion so is lesser than 40 grab another lesser blob and just set it to 40 now place it on the end block and finally if scene equals 1 then grab this if statement key a press grab this if statement equals if direction equals left then we need to switch our costume to the right costume duplicate if direction equals right then we need to switch costume to left else we need to switch costume to down grab another when green flag click block forever else so let's set scene to one if scene equals one then we need to show else height and we need to go to front layer so now let's test our project and now let's just go near the npc and press a you can see our npc switches costume and giving it a talking impression so now what you need to do is just click on duplicate the npc and let's code the other villager so you could get rid of this villager too just click on delete we need to go to y negative 43 x negative 47 and if scene equals 4 scene equals 4 so now you can see we got our second npc we cannot interact with the npc from behind so duplicate the if block and place it here 
if direction equals down then we need to switch costume to up and now press a and i can see you could interact with the npc and you might notice a bug we can just walk through npc and that should not happen so simply click on the hitbox and if touching detection grab two o blocks duplicate if touching villager or villager trees so now you could add any number of npcs and just update the detection using the o blocks and the touching block and i can see we cannot walk over npcs next i'll be showing you how to code our text in so you might got a sprite called stay so it's just a circle in the right bottom of our editor when green flag click we need to go to x negative 27 y negative 39 and we need to set our ghost effect to 100 and now let's make a new block called stay at input or text and click ok and now just grab this stay block and I'll just say arrow keys to move and duplicate press A to talk with NPCs now let's just define this stay block we need to make a variable called stay for all sprites and letter for all sprites then set both of these variables to just nothing let's say to nothing letter to nothing we need to repeat length of text we need to change our letter variable by one and we need to set our stay grab the join block and letter block we need to join Stay letter our letter variable of text and then we need to stay our stay variable we need to add a delay of the zero second and then at the delay of 1.5 and then we need to reset the stay block to nothing and now let's just test it and yeah you make sure you show so just grab the show and I can see we got this save block text entry. So now we could just add this to all our NPCs. So drag this define block and add it to our NPCs. And now after adding the if key a press, so this is our villager one. You could add any dialogue you want you got my blocks and stay so uh, i'll just say the default lines in my preview our villager 2 okay now let's test our text engine and now i can see we can interact with the npcs so you could just say anything you want just just grab the say block and just say anything you want just like that and yeah if you're enjoying the video make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing so now we got another thing to fix so we just press a and the npc is talking but you could still move and he's still talking so we don't want that to happen so to fix that click on villager and we'll make a new variable called walking for all sprites and we need to set our walking variable to n if a press set our walking variable to n and our walking variable bx and just try when we flag click set our walking 
FPS. Let's just do do the same villager. Start walking to yes. Could just start walking to N. The A press. And after all of it's done, set walking to yes. So click on villager, and you could just bring this set box in, and click on the hitbox sprite. Grab if statement, and if walking equals yes, that means why. Okay, now let's test our game. Let's just talk to this NPC. Now I can see we cannot run from the NPC, it just makes it more natural. And now there's another bug. If you just press A, you could see the say text engine mess up things because we are just telling the say block to say two things at the same time. So to fix that, click on the say sprite. We need to set walking to N and then set walking to yes. So we need to wait like 0.01 second. Now let's test it. And I can see you cannot move until the dialog ends. Just fix that bug. I'll be showing you how to code our weapon. So we just got one weapon, this axe thing. And you could find these on Ninja Adventure items weapons and you got a lot of weapons you could use anything you want so what you need to do is just click the sprite and sprite in hand and click on open and then you might get two sprites the first is the default sprites to make it a visible item and this is the sprite which you would keep it in your hand so what you need to do is copy the sprite in hand and click on your player and click on upload costume in their adventure actor characters and just find their character separate animation and you got this attack animation so what you need to do is just select and separate it into different costumes and then rename it to attack and then the direction of the costume so we got attack down, attack up, attack left, attack right. And then what you need to do is just and just paste the weapon in hand and resize it and place it correctly and copy, paint a new sprite, name it as weapon in hand and paste it where it is. So you don't need to make any changes. So you need to do this for all of the attack sprites. Paste resize position copy delete the new sprite paint and paste and just rename it to the direction so that's how you make your own weapon so i already got this axe thing we got weapon and held and weapons pick up and we got another sprite called glow to make this Glow thing when picking up this item. So what you need to do is just click on weapons pick up. When green flag click, we need to make a new variable called collected for all sprites. We need to set collected to n. Set our scene to one. Go to x zero y zero height forever. If else, grab this end equals equals. So if scene equals five and door equals yes. So now you need to check where do you want your weapon to be. So I want my weapon to be on this house. So when you enter the house, take this scene. I can see we are on scene two. When we enter the house, we are on scene 5. So I want my weapon to be here. So make sure you add the scene where your weapon needs to be. So my one is scene 5. And then we need to show. And if touching player 
we need to set collector to white hide we need to stop other scripts in this sprite and stop this script script and stop this script else we need to hide and grab another way and green flag click block repeat until touching player we need to repeat and change our y by 0 0.5 duplicate repeat 20 change our y by negative 0 0.5 duplicate and repeat 10 change our y by 0 0.5 and now just copy the same thing to your glow sprite we can just get rid of this stuff in green flag click we need to go to back layer and go forward one layer set our ghost effect to 20 go to weapons pickup and turn 3 degrees wait 0 0.2 seconds and now let's just test it And now you can see we got our weapon. Click on weapon handheld. When we flag click forever, we need to go to player. Grab another forever if else and equals. Make a new variable called weapon for all sprites if weapon equals yes and if e space press we need to show else we need to hide and now let's just click on villager we need to set our weapons variable to collector and if abs we need to set weapons n and set weapon to n same thing to the villager, set weapon to N, forever set weapon N, set our weapons to collector. Else we need to set weapon to collector and just on the villager one as well. Else we need to set weapon collected and now click on the player sprite when green flag click forever if grab the end equals this weapons equals y then duplicate e face press then we need to switch costume to join attack and direction so renaming is really important you need to rename attack and then direction so click on weapons and health and forever we need to switch our costume to direction and now you can see we could use our weapon so click on the save block and grab the if statement forever stop all stop the script if weapon equals yes let's just say let's just test it again So now you can see our weapons are working. So that's it for this episode and episode 4 which is the final episode I'll be showing you how to code our enemies, the health and how to add some sound effects and music. And if you want to make another awesome game like this, make sure to check this video.